All right, what's going on YouTube? Uh, we are one day away from Melty release, so I figured it was as good a time as any to address some questions that I know will be coming, and also to go over the last gameplay, which is going to be Rark versus Coma, which everyone's been wanting to see Coma, but we we never got to. But you know, they decided to save the best for last, so I figured I'd go over it. All right. So the interesting thing is, uh, for me to release this article, and of course, Gray Furman translated it. It talks a lot about how the differences between Rark and normal Ark, which is actually exactly what I wanted to talk about. So Rark is special in that in addition to rushing the opponent down, uh, Red Ark, now I'm gonna call it Red Ark from now on, navigates neutral with strong projectiles and high speed movement. All right, Red Ark possesses both speed and power and is a character who sets the pace of neutral uh, with her strong projectiles and high speed movement. She's extremely strong in the air as she can throw projectiles while airborne and some of her air moves have super armor, making her uniquely stable in the neutral game. She can use her projectiles as a shield in neutral while playing with her opponents with her movement special. Okay, so this is something in the gameplay that you're going to see quite a bit of. Weiss Kotz is a special move that moves Red Arc forward at high speed. She moves forward with after images and can choose to either move a small distance or a large one crossing through her opponent. Her moon skill, Weiss... Weisskotz has a simple input, has a very short startup before she starts moving, making it easy to use in neutral. Furthermore, she can do a blowback edge version of the move by holding the button, which causes her to reappear in the air. She can quickly appear behind and above the opponent, making this move useful in neutral and for opening the opponent up. All right. Red Ark shoots pure magic energy. This is what everyone affectionately calls the onion. Apparently it was red before, but now it's actual onion rings now. Uh, she shoots pure magic energy forward in a ring shape. It's called Alt Shul. A long-range special move that allows her to control the battlefield. She can also do the move in the air to keep the opponent in check. And I think in Moon Drive, she, she can do two of them. The EX version has long range, making it useful for inning block strings. Use these projectiles to harass the opponent and get closer into a more ideal range. Her B and C normals can be held for their blowback edge versions, granting them super armor, which is a super unique uh, thing for her. The B version is an overhead and must be blocked standing. Red Arc has moves that move her four while attacking, and she can slip through the opponent attacking from behind with her fast moon skill. This is her super. I won't go over this because we'll get to see plenty of it. This is the really good part here. Uh, against opponents who specialize at long range, her moon skill, Weiss Kotz, and moon skill, Alt Shul, let her close the distance. Weiss Kotz travels far while having a very little startup, allowing her to move in when the opponent is recovering from their long range attacks. Moon skill, moon skill air, Alt Shul, protects her from the opponent's projectiles and allows her to get closer while having a hitbox out to threaten the opponent. She can also hit the opponent trying to attack from long range with her invincible rushing attack, EX Weiss Kotz. All right. Against characters who want to be close, Red Arc can use Alt Shul and Alt Nagel to control space. Both attacks have a wide range and can be used to stop opponents from running or air dashing in. Red Arc jumps and attacks upwards when she does Moon Skill Alt Nugul. I'm, I know I'm butchering that. Making it useful at attacking opponents in the air. It's also jump cancelable and can be used in combos to add on more damage. When the opponent does get in, she can use EX as an incredible invincible reversal. So I won't go over the advice against her. This is what I wanted to really get into, the differences between Ark and Red Ark. So Ark and Red Ark are both playable characters with completely different movesets. Red Ark uses her projectile and teleports to trifle with the opponent in neutral, while Ark focuses on rushing down the opponent. Both characters have power and speed, but Red Ark, with her strong projectile, focuses on establishing her pace and opening the opponent up from neutral with a slightly technical battle style. As opposed to that, Ark has no projectile moves and might struggle against long range opponents, but once she gets in, she has a multiple ways to open up the opponent up. So what's interesting is that what they really give us actually is more information on Ark here than we had before, letting us know just how good she is. Because they, they say that, you know, both can open up, but we don't really know how good Ark is as opposed to Red Ark. But actually, Ark is pretty crazy. Ark has many overhead and low attacks. Ark attacks with her nails while moving forward when she does Jama Yo. The move has follow-ups, Owari, which hits low, and Shizume which hits overhead. Furthermore, anyone getting Suki Sukiyaki vibes. Furthermore, the moon scale version also has follow-ups and can be formed with one button and the third move hits low. In addition to this, moon scale, what are you doing? Has Arcway jump forward and attack with an overhead. Arcway has many other powerful ways to open a proponent. For example, blowback edge 5B is an overhead and apparently blowback edge 5C is an unblockable attack that cannot be crouch shielded. So that's pretty interesting. She possesses many strong mix-up tools, and while she might have to fight to get close to the opponent, once she does, she has overhead lows and unblockables to break her opponent's guard. So I'm going to get into this gameplay now, but it seems that Arc is going to be an absolute menace once she gets in, whereas Red Arc is going to have an easier time getting in. She's going to rely on more on more finessing